Hello guys, and I am here with a beautiful junk journal that I had finished for the lovely Dana. So Dana, if you don't want to see this, please don't watch this video. Um, this was a seven gypsy journal, and the challenge was to use all seven gypsy stuff except for lace and flowers. Now, I did put some other seven gypsy other stuff in here that wasn't seven gypsy like some antique goodies and stuff so um she can take them out or do whatever she wants with them i just wanted her to have some of that stuff but the paper that i used on the outside cover is seven gypsy um this burlap uh, stuff. This is Seven Gypsy. I got it out of a junk pack. This lace is not because we could use lace. All of these flowers are not. These are Seven Gypsy. The gears, um, these little dots here, those are Seven Gypsy um, dome studs. The thickers here, those are not Seven Gypsy though. And the corner pieces. So the outside is pretty much the only thing that is not Seven Gypsy with those though and then on the side here this little charm these are all seven gypsy charms except for the pen that's holding it up is Tim Holtz so that is Tim Holtz but the paper that I used is seven gypsy the twine of course is not seven gypsy but that's what I did my signature with I done three signatures on this book if I was to sell one of these, I would sell one of these for um, $75 because my other two signature book is $50. So these ones would be $75 shipped. Okay, and this burlap is Seven Gypsy. This measuring tape is not. I just heat embossed my name so that way she would know who it came from. And the paper is Seven Gypsy and the corners is not okay so let's look in this beautiful journal I just sorry ribboned the tie I love the sorry ribbon look on the tie and there is 50 pages in this book a hundred if you count front and back okay so guys let's look in this beautiful journal now it's gonna be kind of hard for me to show you guys absolutely everything but I'm gonna try over here, this is all seven gypsy paper, and I used some punches to make a little um, embellishment that I could cover the sari ribbon with. This doily is not, um, but I wanted to use it because I thought it was just so stinking cute. So I did use that. And this is just a library card, and inside it is... I heat embossed my name, Handmade with Love, by Crystal Lumpkins, and then here I put Handmade in Ohio. I always use that. I love that. And then on the back, I've just did my um, little note to Miss Dana. And all of this background paper here, this is set from a Seven Gypsy paper pad. Let's get started in this book, because it's going to take us a minute. Okay, now there is a tuck spot back here with a tag in it. All right, see this opens, and behind this is the tuck spot. And she could put bigger stuff in there. I just wanted her to see that it was a tuck spot. She can open this envelope and put stuff in there. And yes, I tea dyed all of this. So, and then it just shuts like that. Put a little mason jar on there. Now, I did leave a lot of pages blank so Miss Dana could do whatever she wanted to do in here. But I put lots of lace on the sides. This is a piece of acetate, and it is decorated acetate, and it's got a little, like, ticket from back in the olden days. And this is a little clip that I got from my McCool mom, and she put a couple little beads on there. I think it's so cute. So I put it on there. There is a tea dyed or coffee dyed one of the two doilies that I did some lace on the side and then here this is a mini file folder and it is seven gypsy and this is a seven gypsy sticker and this just has some velcro on it that opens too I thought she could either journal in here or put 
uh, pictures. And then behind that is a tuck spot that has a little tag back there. <clears throat> so I pretty much done that just so she would know that it's a tuck spot. Punched out some tabs to put on the sides just to look cool. And I had coffee dyed a lot of this paper and tea dyed it. This is a, an, a pocket from I Am A Cool Mom. I love her journaling kit. So I just added a few things throughout it in this little tag. And I put it in there. And this sticker is a 7 Gypsy. I had lots of 7 Gypsy stickers. I thought they were so cute. And this is an old antique um, paper from a Sears catalog back in the old days. And I just clipped a seven or a guest check on there and it is shiny and this is from a seven gypsy ephemera pack and I just put some seven gypsy um ephemera or whatever you want to call it in there made it a little pocket another guest check and this is a little seven gypsy um lace that I put on a clip so cute and then this is another that other piece of doily the rest of that acetate some lace on the side there and this is a stamp on an IC card and I just and this tape is so cool it just kind of fit the purpose so I thought she could write on that and that is the first signature guys now on to the second signature this is just a book page that is made into a envelope and inside there is some washi samples of the old ancient washi tape. I just put a little doily on there to make it look cute. I thought it was adorable. There's another one in file folders and it's on the Sears catalog and same thing and it's got a little tuck spot behind it. Ah, with a tag in it and this is all seven gypsy tags guys so I thought that was so cute and then here we have um, one of those yellow manila envelopes the little ones and it's got a seven gypsy um, coffee sticker on it and it says sunshine brain and it's moonshine that is so cute I thought and then inside there is some seven gypsy stickers for her so if she wanted to put it throughout the book some music note paper, a little dinner ticket, some lace. So she can do lots of things to, to this book herself. And this is a stenciled on. Um, this is from I Am A Cool Mom. I thought it was so cute. I wanted to use it in this book. This is Seven Gypsy Ephemera and stickers. I just put some old tickets in there. I thought it was so cool. These tickets are very old. I'm not even sure exactly how old they are. But I know they're really old and they're from our um, town that we go to to shop. So I thought that was cool. And this is some 7 Gypsy ephemera, Some 7 Gypsy coins that I put on there. And this is a 7 Gypsy tag I made to put in the pocket. On some music note paper. Love it. I love that coffee stain there. It's so awesome. And this is 7 Gypsy paper too, and I just made it kind of a little waterfall for her, but it was kind of cute. I love the way this coffee stained on here, so I just kind of kept it like that, because I really like that. It's so cool. And then here we have some 7 Gypsy ephemera pieces that I, I pop dotted that one up, I thought it was so cool. Some more of the lace on there. Some more of that paper and I put some seven gypsy stickers right there and right there. Right here is a piece of ephemera and inside here this is all seven gypsy paper. I thought it was so cool and she could use it. And it's inside that envelope. Love that. A little seven gypsy mason jar. So adorable. Ledger paper. I love using ledger paper, and that's all for the second signature. Now, onto the third. Here we have some seven gypsy paper again. I love these seven gypsy papers. So cool. This one feels like it's got like felt on it. So cool. And I made this into a pocket, and that is seven gypsy also. 
This is just um, a playing card. I thought it was so neat how it's so ancient. Love the way that coffee stained there. This is a bag, and these are really cool. This brown bag has things inside here. And then in the back of it is also a tuck spot for a tag. So I thought that was so cool how I made it different tuck spots. There's two different tuck spots there, so that's cool. And it's on some graph paper. This another one of these mason jars on some music paper. That's old music note paper. Another doily. Some lace on the side there. Another customer receipt. I love the way that one came out. I love it. Um, here is some music note paper. And another piece of that. This is um, Seven Gypsy Rebel that I used on an IC card and a playing card. I love this lace. It's gorgeous. And then we got the rest of that doily. I love the way it coffee dyed that one. And this is just some rub ones I was trying to do at first. And it didn't come out right, but it still looks dingy. And I like that. So that's cool. And then here we have three pockets on this one. We have this little infimer here holds a ticket or a tag. And then we got the inside pocket, which holds some goodies for her. And then we got behind that is another pocket and it's got some ephemera in there. So I thought that was cool how that was a three pocket. I love it. And then love the way that graph paper stained there. And then we got some ledger paper. And then here we got a spot and I think this is cool. It's got an old playing card with an old ice cream truck. Oh wait, bread, buns, cake, and donuts. Oven fresh to your door. So that's cool, I thought. And it's in this, or a little tuck spot that says how to tie a bow tie. So cool. And it says, a hunch is creative trying to tell you something. And some old vintage lace on the side there. And then back here, I did another one of these ephemera pieces here, which I'm going to have to glue that down again because I don't like the way that pop dot's going crazy like that. Anyways, I will get that glue back down there. And then this is um, Seven Gypsy paper, and I put some goodies back here for her that were vintage and some Graphic 45 pocket pages that I love so much. So I thought it was neat. I love the way this book turned out. It's absolutely stunning, and I absolutely hope you love it, Dana. And oh my god, I took a lot of time working on this book because I wanted it to be so special for you so I really hope you like it and if anybody is interested in buying one of these this specific one with three signatures is $75 and if you want any more signatures like four to five signatures Say you want four signatures, that would be $85. If you wanted five signatures, that would be $95. So, if anybody's interested, just let me know. I am going to be opening an Etsy shop in either August or September. So, once I do that, I will be able to link it and all that stuff. So, hope you guys really enjoyed this. So, until my next video, guys. Bye-bye.